Hi friends, welcome. My name is Risa. So today's class is going to be gentle relaxing yoga. So you can come to a seat and hands in front of your chest, palms together. Soften the gaze. And as you inhale, bring your arms up towards the ceiling. Gaze follows your fingers. And press the palms firmly. And as you exhale, bring your hands back to your chest. We're going to move with the breath. Inhale, reach up, look up. Feel the stretch in the front side of the neck. And exhale, bring your hands back to your chest. Shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, reach up. External rotation happening in your shoulders and arms. And exhale, back to your chest. This time, inhale, circle sweep your arms up, palms together. And exhale, bring your arms to the side and down, making a circle with your hands. Inhale, arms up, reach into the side and up. Exhale, bring your arms down. Inhale, reach up, open the chest. Exhale, release your arms by your side. Inhale, arms up, look up. This time as you exhale, cactus your arms, bringing your elbows down and back. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, cactus your arms, look forward. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, cactus again, squeeze your shoulder blades close to the spine. And inhale, one more, arms up. And exhale, release your arms by your side. Next stretch, hands behind you, interlace the fingers, bring your hands on the left side of your waist. And then look over the left side, feel the stretch in the left right side of the neck. Breathe into your neck. And slowly bring your chin down towards your collarbone, towards your chest. And bring it back to your left side, making the quarter circle movement. Tuck the chin, bring your head forward, and bring it to the side. Nice and slow, gentle stretch. And you can pause the movement in one spot and feel the nice gentle stretch again. A few breaths. And slowly come back to the center and switch side. Hands on the right side of your waist. Look to the right side first. Keep your spine nice and long. And on your next exhale, start you're bringing your chin towards your shoulder, down towards the chest. Head forward, bring it back to the right side. And exhale, chin towards the chest. Nice and slow. And again, you can go ahead and pause the movement in one spot and hold it there for a few breaths. Imagine you're releasing the tightness in your neck as you exhale. And slowly come back up. Release your hands and bring your legs forward. Open the legs wider than your hips, about mat's width, plant your feet. And as you exhale, round your spine, fold over your thighs. Hands can be on the top of your feet. And then when you inhale, bring yourself up and lean back slightly, reach your arms up. Keep your back nice and straight so you're going to suck the stomach in slightly. And exhale, round your spine, hands on the top of your feet, tuck the chin. Inhale, lift up, open, reach your arms up, use your core. 
and exhale round the spine relax your back inhale lift up lean back slightly reach your arms up next to your ears exhale rounding through the spine tuck the chin relax your head inhale lift and hold it here for a few breaths exhale release great work you can bring your left heel close to the pubic bone and straighten your right leg to the side for side body stretch and you can bring your right hand on your shin or wherever it's comfortable reach your left arm up and as you exhale as you ground your both sit bones into the mat bend your body to the right side keep your left arm nice and straight gaze can be forward or up towards the ceiling and when you exhale you can round your upper back square your shoulders and as you inhale open the chest again look up maybe and exhale lower your left shoulder square the shoulders inhale open and exhale square and when you open up your chest stay there for a few breaths keep reaching to the right side keep grounding your sit bones into the mat And as you exhale, release your left arm down and walk your hands towards the left side for 45 degree angle. And relax here. Keep lifting your elbows and reaching the fingertips forward and to the left. And on your next inhale, come back up and bring the bottom of your feet together. Open the knees wide, as wide as you can using the adductor muscle inner thighs to open the knees wide maybe grab your big toes or feet great work this time straighten your left leg to the side keep bending the right knee left hand can be anywhere you like right arm up towards the ceiling and as you exhale bend your body to the left Keep bringing your right knee towards the ground. And as you exhale, round your upper back, lower your right shoulder down to square the shoulders. Inhale, open up, look up maybe. Exhale, round your upper back. Inhale, open. And exhale, round. On your next inhale, stay there for a few breaths. Keep reaching to the left. Breathing into the right side of the body. Notice the sensation here. And as you exhale, release your right hand down. Walk your both hands to the right side. Not all the way, just halfway. Relax your head. Keep reaching, walk your fingers forward. Widen the shoulder blades. And inhale, walk your hands towards your body, come back up. Again, bottom of your feet together, but this time bring your heels away from your pubic bone so we can target the outer hips area. And then if you can, you can fold forward slightly, but keep your spine nice and long maybe grab your ankles or feet gaze down you can always adjust the position of your feet feeling the stretch in your outer hips great work as you inhale come back up And come to tabletop position. And shift your weight forward. Bend your elbows. Come all the way down to your belly. On your next inhale, baby cobra, lift your chest and head up. And 
exhale release inhale baby cobra exhale release all the way down inhale lift your head and chest exhale release nice work reach your right arm to the side like a capital T shape bend your left knee towards the glute and roll your body to your right side as you push your left palm into the mat step in the left foot behind your right leg relax your shoulders relax your gaze breathe and gently bring yourself back to the center release your left leg and switch side right hand to push up position and left hand left arm to the side bend your right knee roll your body to the left soften the shoulders this not you don't have to make so much effort in this posture just relax into it And slowly come back to the center, hands to push up position. And push your palms into the mat and lift your chest and head up for cobra pose. Extend your arms and look over the right shoulder. Bring your right shoulder and right hip closer together. So your right hip is gonna lift a lot. And switch side. Look over the left shoulder. Now left shoulder and hip are going to get closer a little bit. Feeling the stretch in the right side of your toes. So just expanding more space around your rib cage. Come back to the center. And now go ahead and lie on your left side of the body. Left elbow on the mat. Bend your both knees and catch your right foot with your right hand. And bring your knees closer towards each other and pull your, pull your heel close to the glute. Feeling the stretch in your quadriceps. And slowly release your right thigh and switch side right to your right side and grab the left foot. You don't need to go too deep, but we tend to neglect stretching the thighs, so let's just take some time to take care of it today. Gently release the foot and lie down on your back. Straighten your left leg, right knee into your chest. And use your hands to pull your right knee close to the chest. And keep your left leg engaged so your left thigh or hip is not going to lift too much. Tuck in the chin slightly. And grab behind your thigh and straighten your right leg as much as you like. Maybe grab your calf or ankle, whatever it feels comfortable for you. And just rubbing the hamstring the behind your thigh or calf helps to warm up your muscle. So you can kind of rub gently with your hands. Bend your right knee again, send your leg over the left side. You can put your left hand on your on the outside of your right knee to give a little pressure so you can feel the stretch in your right gluteus medius. And again, option to pet your right thigh with your left hand, nice and gentle to warm up your muscle mind and body are connected so in your head it's important to imagine your tightness is releasing as you stretch 
and slowly come back to your center both knees into your chest you can hug your knees and maybe lift your head and shoulders squeeze really tight good and release your right leg all the way down left knee into your chest again you can use your hands and push the right thigh towards the mat keep engaging your right leg and pull the left knee into your chest and move your hands behind your thigh and straighten your left leg as much as you like and again you can use your both hands to rub your hamstrings and calf muscle just up and down or side to side just appreciate your legs that are supporting our body to help walk, sit, stand a lot of activities we do And slowly bend your left knee again to your chest, send it to the right side. Glute stretch. Put your right hand on your knee, or you can again wrap your glute side of your hip with your hand. Relax into this posture. Taking a time to appreciate your body that is supporting us every day and come back to the center both knees into your chest and do whatever movements you want to do maybe squeezing again or you can rock your body side to side happy baby pose grab the bottom of your feet keep your lower back on the mat maybe rock the body side to side maybe still stay still your choice and slowly release your legs all the way down final resting pose shavasana close your eyes Take as much space as you want. Soften the face. Relax your belly. I would encourage you to stay here at least a couple minutes to relax your mind and enjoy this relaxation. And please subscribe to this channel or leave a comment if you like this class. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.